Hello viewers, welcome to another session of my Pharmacology series. Today I'll be discussing about the adverse effect of one of the very common anti-epileptic drugs that is phenytoin. So the short trick or the mnemonic what I have made to easily remember the adverse effects of phenytoin can be better remembered if we just look at the initials that is P H E N Y T O I N of the phenytoin, and we can very easily relate the adverse effects with every alphabet of it. So, uh, in beginning with P, so the first adverse effect of the phenytoin is that in the first side effect, the first adverse effect that is the P corresponds to the plasma level monitoring. That is on phenytoin administration, plasma level monitoring is essential because of its zero order kinetics. Next, the H corresponds to the hypertrophy of the gums, that is the gum hypertrophy can be seen, so uh, it, which can be minimized by having a, maintaining a good oral hygiene. The E corresponds to the enzyme induction, so the use of phenytoin can lead to interaction with other anti-epileptic drugs including uh, other epileptic anti-epileptic drugs it can lead to interaction with other epileptic drugs so it is an enzyme in inducer or enzyme induction the n of the phenytoin corresponds to the neutropenia and other hypersensitivity reactions which can be elicited if a chronic uh, use of phenytoin is there so the y of the phenytoin corresponds to the young girls so in young girls should be aware when using phenytoin because it can lead to hirsutism and coarsening of facial features and acne so the young girls should be the y corresponds to the young girls they should be aware when using phenytoin because it can lead to coarsening of facial features hirsutism and acne the t of the phenytoin uh, corresponds to the teratogenic effect so the married girls should be aware should be aware because it can causes it can cause fetal hydantoin syndrome so the t corresponds to the, the t of the phenytoin corresponds to the teratogenic side effects so married girls should be aware because it can lead to fetal hydantoin syndrome the o of the phenytoin will correspond to the osteomalacia due to interference with the calcium metabolism so calcium absorption is impaired so osteomalacia can occur the i corresponds to the interference with the folate absorption so when the folate absorption is interfered it can further manifest in the form of megaloblastic anemia the last n of the phenytoin will correspond to certain uh, side effects certain adverse effects can be seen uh, by the n corresponds to certain neurological manifestation the n stands for the neurological manifestations at higher doses on administering higher doses certain neurological manifestations can be seen in the form of ataxia vertigo and nystagmus so viewers this was my analysis or the short trick as to how we can easily remember the adverse effects of phenytoin in the examination center so viewers if you do like my video don't forget to subscribe and like my video and press the bell icon so that you can be further updated about my newer videos thank you for watching